That's a lot. 18% say that they don't like vegetables. There are a lot of fruits and vegetables. How can you not like one of them, at least one? So here are some tips for you to like improve your conception. First of all, seasonality. Buy products that are seasonal. They will be less expensive, Mohammed. They will be uh, more, sta more tasteful. If you eat strawberries in the winter, they didn't have any scent. So trust me, they're not good. Uh, think about variety. You don't have to eat to buy only fresh fruits or fresh vegetables. You can, <coughs> you can take uh, frozen fruits, you can take canned fruits, you can take um, even soup or uh, juice that counts as, as a portion of fruits or vegetable. And the more variety you take, if you take more like green and uh, oranges, and it will give you different vitamins and different nutrients. So your body will have everything that it needs. Keep your food at high. Keep it where you can see it. If you hide it, you, you're never going to eat it. But if you have a big bowl of like nice fruits on your on your table and you feel like you need to eat something, then you'll be more likely to eat it rather than going to the fridge and opening an ice cream and then eating it. Spread all your the spread the consumption throughout the day. Um, eat it for breakfast lunch, dinner, and uh, and for your snack. Don't try to eat all, all of them for one one lunch, uh, one meal. That's not gonna, gonna work. And finally, mix mix that up all. If you you put some slices of, uh, of uh, apples in your in your cereal, you put vegetables in your omelets. Um, what I like to do is make a, a salad as a side dish for my lunch or my dinner. And I put like so many different vegetables and it has like different textures, different flavors. It's really good, and it brings more vegetables into my, my daily consumption. And finally, we have a lot of resources available on the internet. So I know like you try not to go too much on the internet and not to use too many apps. <laughs> <laughs> but I spent a lot of time on uh, the first two, so choosemyfoods.gov and uh, switching veggies more matters. They are. Um, uh, non-governmental uh, organization and they have a lot of information about the, the nutrition facts about what how to cook how to how to um, store the fruits because sometimes you don't know how to store them and they go bad and then you're like oh no I'm not going to buy them anymore because I, I, I don't have time to eat them so if you go on this too you have a lot of information about how to to the most out of your uh, fruits. And I like the French one. I know it's uh, <laughs> it's a little content, but it, the French one, even if you don't speak really good French, it has this very nice um, uh, menu uh, factory where you can like set up how many guests you have and how many meals you want to plan. And it actually makes you the meals for the entire week, for example and like the entire meals for lunch and dinner and it gives you the detail of the recipes and even does the grocery list. So you just, and it, it can go on your, on, your, on your phone, so you just go to the supermarket, buy the, the food and then you're, you're fine. So um, to conclude, I, um, I explained to you what were the, the advantages of having a, of eating fruits and vegetables. Uh, remember that they are good for you, they make you look good and they make you feel good. So it's, like it's so easy to, to be healthy just by eating a little bit of uh, apples and five different fruits and vegetables per day. Um, and there's this old saying that say that an apple all day keeps the doctor away, so just try to, next time that you do your shopping, just try to think about it. Thank you for your time, James.